LiveWorksheets.com. LiveWorksheets.com is a website that every teacher should know about. Right now, I teach hybrid classes. That means that I've got students online and I've got students in class. I can use live worksheets to show my students interactive worksheets and I can create workbooks with them with these worksheets inside. Let me show you a live worksheets.com tutorial. If you just want to find some worksheets to use, you go to interactive worksheets you can pick what subject you have. I teach English as a second language. I can search for, let's say, past tense, and it brings out some options. These are great. Look at this. You can use them in class with your students using a projector, or if you're teaching online, you can also send these to your students. You copy and then you send it to them and they can actually do it, email you their answers if they want to, or check my answers. What do I have? I've got two out of 10. There are many different types of worksheets, drag and drop. The best thing is you can also create your own interactive worksheets. You go here to make interactive worksheets, get started, log in. Then you just go to upload. Very easy to use. You just drag a square and then you type in what the correct answer should be. A group of people, sailed. Okay, so that should be the correct answer. There were. So these are the answers. You can go through it and then you can say save the document. You can go preview. We can see what it looks like. I can say sailed were and now finish. 10 out of 10. Nice. There were only two answers and I got both right. So you want to put in all of these answers. If you don't know what to do, go here to the question mark and they explain everything. You can create a select box, choose. So you can pick between two answers. Multiple choice, select no, select yes, select no, select yes, to say what the correct answer is. You can also join with arrows. So you say join one, join one, and they can drag and drop and those will connect them to each other to create the correct one. Drop one and drag one. This is simple editing for you to create it. You drag it, you drop it there, and it's going to work. You can create some listening exercises by loading up some audio. Here they've got a file you can play. Word search, they've got a video explaining how to do that. You can add MP3 files, YouTube videos, PowerPoints, links, everything. If you want to create an interactive workbook for your students, you've got a class, you want to create a workbook, we can call it English 2. You can edit the content, you can assign it to students by sending it to them. You have to register your students first though. If you go to the interactive worksheets and you want to add the file to a workbook, you just click on there, add to my workbooks, to English 2 and it is added. Check out live worksheets. It will solve a lot of your teaching problems.